local showdown awaits in the sectional if Paxton Buckley Loda can win its game at Pontiac tonight. The Panthers match up against Joliet Catholic. The winner faces Bismarck hitting Rossville Alvin in the Sweet 16 Friday night for the title. The Blue Devils 33 0. Let's go to Pontiac to see if PBL can get the win. Camo night. Panthers 27 and 4. The Hellman under 500 at 14 and 19, but making a postseason run. Panthers lead by four at the half, but they find themselves playing catch up in the fourth. Colton Coy ends a shooting drought for them. Hillman lead 40 33. Now, crunch time for PBL. Just th under three minutes left. Trey Van Winkle with the layup cuts the lead to three. He puts up a game high 29. Hillman add another bucket but the Panthers respond with the putback from Dalton Busboom. Late drama, four-point game with less than 10 seconds to go. Trey Van Winkle, it's a big-time three to put them within one. The Hillman hit a pair of free throws, and the Panthers have a chance to send it to overtime with the three. The Gavin Copley layup at the buzzer, no good. Tough way to end it for the Panthers. They fall 52-49. Salt Fork faces Ridgeview at the Class 1A Schlarman sectional. Winner gets Roanoke Benson in Friday's final. Storm looking for a fourth quarter rally. Logan Appleman gets it going with the steal and finish on the other end. Peyton Taylor with a nice game for him. Off the entry pass, he finishes at the rim. Salt Fork cuts a 23-point deficit down to 16. Then more from Taylor. The and one off the miss. Good play from the senior who finishes with a team high 14 points in his last game, but not enough. Ridgeview wins at 51 to 39. 3A play has Urbana taking on Centennial and Rantoul. The Tigers beat the Chargers twice this season. Looking for the three-peat, Chris Cross gives Urbana an early lead with the mid-range pull-up high off the window. Then Trey Walker. Gets the shot to go and the foul. He'd make the free throw as well to put the Tigers up 10-3 early. Chargers answer back off the miss. KV on lot with the offensive put back down low. But Urbana wins on a Jermail Young buzzer beater to advance 47-45. Meanwhile in Bloomington, Danville moves down to 3A this year after being in 4A the last couple of years. They get to host Raiders in their opening playoff game. Devin Miles slips a pass to Robert Stroud who scores in close. Later, it's the same combo, but Stroud cleans up the Miles miss for the layup. Vikings in control most of the night. Miles penetrating and scoring. He draws the foul for a three-point play. 73-58, Danville a winner. He'll face top seed Lincoln on Friday for the regional.